Now actually, to be Arthur's credit, she seems to be like the only one who's actually trying in this whole damn thing. I mean, she just has the role of bartender, but I'm actually a million times more interested in what happens in this stupid bar than I am the rest of the universe. Gentlemen, I guess you didn't hear what I said. The Empire has closed us down. All right, we'll have one more round. This one's on the house. Well, that's weird. This whole intergalactic empire is concerned with just closing down this bar? I mean, don't they have more important things to do? You have done well, Lord Vader. And now I sense we must focus all of our forces to crush this tiny cantina on Tatooine. What of the reports of the rebel fleet massing near Sullis? It is of no concern. Soon the cantina will be crushed and B. Arthur will be one of us. Why do we need B. Arthur? Silence! So she has to get everyone out of the bar and, if you can believe it, actually has a musical number. It's not the end, friend, if you're a friend, friend. Hey, wait a minute, isn't that Guido? Huh. I guess he did shoot first. Try stopping by, friend, if there's a light in the place. Actually, and I hate to say this, but this song sequence actually isn't that bad. Maybe it's because everything else is so horrible by comparison, but I actually feel really sad that her bar is closed. She's the only character I kind of like in all this, and maybe the idea of a closing bar that can supply me alcohol during all of this makes me kind of emotional. You know I'm here, friend. Is that a tear, friend? In your eye. In fact, you know what? This whole special should have been about her! Yes! This special would have been better if it was focused on B. Arthur as a singing bartender in a cantina on Tatooine. That's how low we've gotten, people. That's how low we've gotten. Good night, but not... I'm sorry, B. I like your place. It's a nice looking place. Chewbacca and Han Solo finally come in to try and save the day. <laughs> wow, that's like the most accident-prone stormtrooper I've ever seen. I mean, tripping over your own gun? How do you think he'd do in a real battle? Oh, hey, look, Rebels! How are you? I'd love to, but I can't. I gotta get back to the Falcon before somebody stumbles across it. Yeah, they're paying me by the minute, so I can't be here for long. You're like family to me. A very distant, rarely seen family. So I guess the Wookiees hold up some sort of sparkling snow glows as they're suddenly teleported through a bright, heavenly light. Is this the Gotta be booze. We're then seen inside a room with, oh Jesus, more screeching Wookiees. God, they sound like humpback whales getting their dicks chopped off. Why are they even wearing those silly robes? Is it a Wookiee chorus? Are they guessing Christmas carols? No, no, don't do it, don't do it! It is indeed true that at times like this, Arto and I wish that we were more than just mechanical beings. And we're really alive, so that we could share your feelings with you. Because as machines, this seems quite unbearable to us. So all the cast shows up as Princess Leia does her best British impression for the entire crowd. This holiday is yours, but we all share with you the hope that this day brings us closer to freedom and to harmony and to peace. No matter how different we appear, we're all the same in our struggle against the powers of evil and darkness. Did I mention she started doing drugs during this special? This is the promise of the Tree of Life. Oh, 
Oh God, no! Not a cheesy life day song, please! A day of all. No more! No more! I can't take it! This is the worst! This is the worst Christmas special ever! We all can share. Stop it! Stop it, please! to the command ship and await my further B. Arthur-related orders. 